Welcome back. I am Mr. Awinup, your grade 10 maths teacher. In the last segment of this lesson, we looked at reading bearings from a compass. Okay, now we're still looking at bearings. Okay, we're still looking at bearings. Right, but today we are going to look at bearings together with trigonometry. Okay, and how we can find distances using both applications. Okay, now we will go through one example, or a couple in fact, but we will start with uh, example number one. All right, let's have a look at our textbook. We are still using the 10A textbook, all right, which is orange in color. So let's see, a ship sails a distance of 200 kilometers, okay, in the direction of south 26 degrees west. Okay, let's write up the important information. So the ship sails 200 kilometers, okay, on a bearing of south 26 degrees to the west. Okay, that's the informa information we need that's from the word problem. Okay, now how far west, how far west does this ship travel, okay? How far west does the ship, okay, travel? Right. Now, we need to draw our compass, represent this on our compass so that we can use trigonometry to find that distance here, okay? So, let's see. Let's draw our compass. Mm -hmm. Remember, north, south, east, and west. Okay? The bearing is south 26 degrees west. So, we are going to estimate that 26 degrees from south going toward the west. Okay, so that angle is here, 26 degrees. Okay, south, 26 degrees to the west. All right, now the question is asking how far west does this ship travel? Okay, remember we are working with right angle triangles when uh, we apply trigonometry. So our diagram we need to form that right angle, okay? Here we go, there's your right angle. Now don't forget that the boat is traveling 200 kilometers, okay, on that bearing. Now, how are we going to apply trig? Now the westerly direction is here, okay? So that becomes our unknown, let's call this x, okay? Now, we can see from the diagram, this x is opposite 26 degrees, so that makes it the opposite side, and the distance traveled is 200 kilometers, which is the long side, which is opposite your hypotenuse. That means that we are going to use the sine ratio. Okay, now sine, angle given 26 degrees is equal to, opposite is x over 200. Okay, so let's find what the distance is, move 200 across, 200 
multiplied by, and let's look at our tables, sine 26 degrees is equal to 0 0.4384. Okay, equal to x. Now, we are going to multiply, all right? So let's see 0 0.4384 multiplied by 200. Okay, put down our zeros. 2 fourths, 8, 2 eighths, 24, all right, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8, and 2 times 4 is 8, okay, 4 decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so the ship has sailed 84.48 kilometers, all right, in a westerly direction, all right. So the ship sailed 84.48 kilometers in a westerly direction. Right, this is where we apply trig and bearings to find distance. In the next example, we will look at how to find the bearing given the distance, okay? So example number two. Example number two, let's draw our compass first. Right. Okay, so we have three towns, X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z. X, okay, let's say TX, meaning town X. Town X uh, is uh, 40 kilometers away, or let's say 40 kilometers west of town Y, okay? Town X, 40 kilometers away from town Y. Then we have town Z, okay? Town Z is 80 kilometers south of town Y. Okay, so town X is 40 kilometers west of town Y, and town Z is 80 kilometers south of town Y. Now this tells us that Y is somewhere at the center of these two towns, X and Z. Okay, so where you find a question like this, that's simply telling you that that town is at the center of your compass. Okay, so let's mark the center of the compass we have town Y located here, okay? So 40 kilometers west, we have town Z, sorry, town X, okay? So 40 kilometers away. Then 80 kilometers away in a southerly direction, okay, south is here, so 80 kilometers in this direction, we find town Z, okay? All right. Now, the first question we are going to ask ourselves, okay? The first question we ask ourselves is, what is the bearing of town X? from 
uh, sorry, we'll start that over. What is the bearing of town Z from town X? Okay, the bearing of town Z from X. Now, whenever you are asked to find the bearing, you are looking for an angle, okay? So, in order to find the angle, we need to draw in our right angle triangle, okay? So, town X to town Z, okay? There's our right angle triangle, all right? Now, we are finding, one, the bearing of town Z from X, which means we are standing here and finding the bearing of Z from this point, okay? So, to help us do that, to help us do that, we need to draw in our compass, okay? Now, this is the angle we are looking for. We're calling it theta, okay? So, theta is the angle we need to find to help us give the bearing, all right? Now, we have this side which is adjacent and this side which is opposite, meaning we are going to use the tangent ratio to find this angle, okay? Now, let's work that out. 10 theta, 10 theta is equal to opposite, all right, which is 80 over adjacent, which is 40, okay? So theta is equal to 2, okay? Theta, according to our tables, okay, the closest angle to 10 value of 2 is 64 degrees, okay? So theta is 64 degrees, right? This is not our final answer. The question is, what is the bearing of town Z from X? So we need to give that bearing either as uh, true bearing or conventional bearing, okay? So for practice sake, we will give the bearing using both methods, all right? Now, 64 degrees, remember, as a conventional bearing, you need to start at either north or south. So to help you, you draw in a small compass here that will help you put this angle in the right place, okay? So, this is south. We need to find this angle here so that uh, we can use south angle and then going toward whatever direction, okay? So, this angle here, how do we find it? We already know that this is 64 degrees, okay? So, to find this angle, we are going to subtract 64 from 90, okay? So 90 minus 64 will give us an angle of 26 degrees, okay? Now, 26 degrees is the angle here. So if I give this now as a compass bearing, we are going to say south, okay, 26 degrees going toward that way, which is east, okay? South, 26 degrees east. Now remember, as a compass bearing, sorry, true bearing, you are now going to start at north and then count the number of degrees covered. So from north, you come down this and you stop here, okay? We already know that this is 64, 
So up here we have 90 degrees plus 64, all right? So let's see, as a compass bearing, sorry, true bearing, we will have 90 plus 64, which will give us 154 degrees T, okay? So, bearing of town Z from town X is south 26 degrees east as a compass bearing or 154 degrees T as a true bearing, okay? Now, the next question is, what is the bearing of town X from town Z, okay? From town Z, what is the bearing of town X, okay? Again, to help us find the angle, we need to draw in a small compass here so that that will help us to identify the angles, okay? Right. So we are looking for this angle. Let's call this angle X, all right? Now, with X being in this corner now, it changes our opposite and our adjacent. This time, opposite side is 40 and adjacent side is 80 kilometers, okay? We are still using the tangent ratio to find this angle. Now let's do that, 10x, right, 10x degrees is equal to, opposite is 40, adjacent is 80, okay? So x is equal to 0 0.5, all right, 0 0.5. Now, Use your tables. What is the value of uh, tangent value of 0 0.5? What angle does that give us? Now let's have a look. 0 0.5 would be equal to 27 degrees according to our table. Okay? So x is equal to 27 degrees, right, 27 degrees, this one is easier because it is already closer to north. So as a conventional bearing, this bearing would be north, okay, 27 degrees to the west, okay, so north, 27 degrees west. Right, that's your conventional bearing. Now, as a true bearing, what are we doing? We are going to start here at north, make almost a full revolution, almost. Okay, look at that. So what do we do? If you remember correctly, in the first segment, when we were faced with a similar question, all we did was subtract, okay? So we are going to do that 360 minus this angle here, which is 27 degrees, which will give us a true bearing of 300 and 33 degrees T, okay? So the bearing from, or the bearing of town Z, the bearing of town X from town Z is, as a true bearing, north 27 degrees west, sorry, conventional bearing, and as a true bearing, it is 333 degrees T, okay? Now, I hope you have enjoyed yourself with trigonometry because this is the last lesson under that topic. In our next lesson, we are going to move into algebra 
which is even more fun. Okay, I hope to see you there. Thank you.